Hey, everyone. It's Nicholas, Presence of God Ministry. Website is RemedyGod.org. Uh, if you scroll down to the additional signs at the end on the, on the website, I, I got a video the other day that I, I should have put on yesterday, but I had other things going on. I uh, Just scroll down. You'll get to uh, this one here where it's elevated levels of radiation and snow in St. Louis, Missouri. I already got it tabbed out, but before we go there, I'm going to go here. I've been, I've been sharing on the website since March of 2011 when the Fukushima thing happened and the, the melted down that this, of course, is going to lend itself uh, to, the, to the prophecy that Jesus made in regards to, uh, in, in Matthew chapter 24, in regards to the, uh, the famines and the pestilences and stuff like that, uh, increasing right before he gets here. And I'll get to that back in a minute, too. But uh, the infant death rate on the West Coast is going off the charts. And the kids that do survive are getting all these abnormalities, right? And they're blaming it, it says right here, they're blaming it on Fukushima. Okay? Now, most people that I run across over time are saying, oh, this is only going to be a problem for Japan and um, any ships that are in a region, you know, in, in regards to where that radioactive water has been floating. And, of course, the west coast of America because that's where it's, the water is going to end up, right? But we're on a round planet, that water is not going to stay there. It's going to work its way all into all the other water. Just like the Corexit from the Gulf oil spill is now made it all around the world, thanks to you know ocean currents as well as evaporation, <laughs> normal evaporation. Where on planet Earth there are these white puffy things called clouds, and in these clouds are going to you know going to be whatever is evaporating out of the ocean. If the water that comes out of the wa- ocean is radioactive, the cloud rain. Or the snow is going to be radioactive, and that's why this video is uh, was posted on my site a couple of days ago. And uh, look at these look at these levels here, seventy six point nine. I can't remember what this one went up to. I didn't finish the video today, but uh, it's pretty. And this thing is bouncing all over the place. And this is just the snow. And this is in Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. So for those of you that think it's only going to stay on the west coast, explain why the the snow and the rain in the Midwest is radioactive and these are levels that are just under alert levels and if you don't think this is going to cause a problem think about this like when like if you work in a radioactive environment whenever you your little badge says it's getting dangerous you leave the area right how do you leave the area if that's where you live and even if it's just under alert levels it's eventually going to get to you and there's going to be all sorts of diseases and pestilences you know, and then famines, of course, is going to affect all the, the plants as well. And this is what Jesus was talking about. Now, what makes me concerned in regards to all this is how the overwhelming majority of the churches across the board, whether they're Christian or not, aren't telling the people any of this stuff. They're not letting about letting them know about these prophetic events that were prophesied that were supposed to happen and are happening. And one of the main reasons they're doing this is because of this page on my website. If you go to this page, prophecy section, false prophecies, and uh, go to Secret Rapture, okay? And, of course, link out there. But on this page, I show every Bible verse that talks about the second coming of Jesus Christ, all right? And then if you go to this uh, page in the, in the prophecy or the false prophecies and go to the seven-year trib, here I show all the Bible verses again that talk about what they call a seven-year tribulation. They're claiming there's, there's going to be a secret rapture, and they're claiming after the secret rapture, all the people that are left behind are going to have to deal with these seven years of tribulation of all these diseases, these famines, these earthquakes, and all this other stuff, right? And this is why the majority of the churches out there don't preach prophecy, because the majority of the prophecies that they say happen after a secret rapture have already started occurring you know, worldwide. And this is why they got to clam up. They can't preach prophecy, because they, they're going to get themselves in a trick bag when their people start asking them, well, wait a second, if you're saying that's not supposed to happen until after we leave, what about the news? It's It's been happening for years now. And so I just thought I'd share this because of what's happening in, uh, you know, right here in, in Missouri. Uh, it, it's obvious. This is going to go global. You can't, It's not going to stay on the West Coast. It's not going to stay in Japan. It's just like with all those nuclear warheads that they blew up all over our planet. Every one of us are radiated now. And so the prophecy will be fulfilled. It's going to happen. The diseases are going to go off the chart. As a matter of fact, they have. If you go to the... Uh, um, prophecy section and go to this. Uh, I mean, I got the book, People Get Ready, I wrote, and I do touch on the thing about the diseases and all the prophecies. Well, here, go there. I mean, it's just, it talks about all the prophecies that Jesus said would happen before the end times began, and that's that's the first six right here. 
And then I share all the verses that, or all the prophecies that Jesus said would happen right before he gets here. And those have all happened. Okay? And then if you want, there's another uh, page that I just did, and um, it's called Very Near the End. It's a sermon series I did. I go into a little bit more detail here in regards to the diseases because it's literally, it's off the chart now. There are new diseases that, I mean, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, in fact. You, you, you got to check this out. It's, it's unbelievable how many diseases are out there right now. And it's not just the radiation either. It's, it's the diet. It's the corrects it. It's pollution. It's everything. It's just sin running rampant on the planet, and mankind is dealing with it now. And so I just thought I'd share this. I hope and pray that you were blessed. Please subscribe. Please share it with as many as you possibly can. And thank you for watching. God bless.